What do you mean by the term ASIC? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term ASIC? Well, let's find out. So, ASIC is the abbreviation given for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. So here, it is the abbreviation given for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. So just like the name suggests, this is a type of integrated circuit or an IC that is designed for a specific application only. Let me make that even more simpler for you. So every electronic device that we see around us are made up of a multiple amount of integrated circuits or ICs in order to perform a particular function. So let us take the example of this particular electronic device. So this particular electronic device is made up of a number of ICs in order to perform a particular operation or a function which is control a particular device. But but, 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 here in this particular electronic device, if we put a very huge processor for the purpose of just controlling the AC over here, is it actually required? It is not required. This only performs a very small operation that is control that particular air conditioning device. That is the only operation this particular thing does. So therefore, the circuits or the ICs that are present inside this, they only have to perform the operation of collectively working together to operate or control that particular air conditioning device. So that is the only thing that is required. So back in 1980s, particular devices like a smoke detector, they were made up of general purpose ICs. They were made up of a lot of general purpose ICs like amplifiers, regulators, comparators and other elements like resistors, capacitors, etc. So here when incorporating all these elements, the thing, the device, the electronic device became huger and it became more expensive. So now. As the competition grew, the demand for these particular devices to reduce in size and to become more affordable, that demand became higher. That is, people wanted to afford such devices and it had to be something that was smaller in size. That is when all these particular things were required to be consolidated onto a single integrated circuit referred to as an application specific integrated circuit. As simple as that guys, this is simply what you refer to as an application specific integrated circuit. This particular application specific integrated circuit not only made this particular electronic device more affordable as well as smaller in size, but it also improved its reliability. That is because lesser the number of components, less probability there is for the particular device to malfunction. So this does is simply what you refer to as an ASIC or an application specific integrated circuit. In simple terms, it is just an integrated circuit that is designed for the purpose of doing a specific function or a specific application. That is simply what you refer to as an application specific integrated circuit. So here there are three types of ASIC designs. The first one is a full custom design and the second one is a semi custom design and the third one is a programmable ASIC. These are three types of ASIC chip designs that we have right now. As simple as that guys. This thus is simply what you refer to as an ASIC. It is basically an integrated circuit that is designed to perform a specific application. As simple as that guys. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as an ASIC. And if you guys found this video informative, please hit the like button and join our community by hitting that subscribe button. So till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.